Hey everyone, Jason Case here with another video and today I wanted to give you a quick update that the GDPR is going in effect here in a few days on May 25th and there's a few things that you need to take action on before then so you don't lose valuable data and that's what I'm going to talk about in today's video. But if you're not familiar with what the GDPR is, it's the General Data Protection Regulation, which is a new European law that goes into effect in the European Union on May 25th. And I did a pretty in-depth video on this not too long ago, a week or two ago. Go check that out for more details. But today I wanted to talk about a couple updates that you definitely need to make before then to, to prepare yourself. So even though this is a European law, it impacts all of us. And if you are doing business with anybody in the European Union, you need to follow these rules strictly. Otherwise, you could get fined up to 4% um, of annual revenue, I believe is what it is. So very hefty fines. Um, but if you're not doing business with anybody in Europe, but you're collecting their data in any way, you still need to um, follow some regulations about how you manage this data. So there's um, some things that companies like Google, uh, all your whoever manages your emails, whatever marketing automation or email marketing um, platform that you use, they're going to be making updates. So those are the things I really wanted to talk about in today's video. So <clears throat> inside of Google Analytics, if you haven't logged in for a while, you will see a yellow bar at the very top that gives you a warning message you need to make updates before may 25th otherwise it's going to default to google's new setting which i believe is 26 months of data so it's going to delete anything else so if you don't want your data deleted then you need to go in and update this so for those of you who live outside of the european union and don't do business with anybody um, in that area, then you need to um, update this and it, you could update it to not delete it if you wanted to. I would strongly suggest uh, talking to an attorney on the best practices here, especially if you do business in the European Union. But you need to make these changes before the 25th or the 25th, otherwise Google is going to default to its default setting and you're going to lose data before that. So. <clears throat> That's one important change that you need to make. And you make this in your admin section under the uh, property column and then under tracking info. It'll say in the yellow message that pops up where you need to make these changes at. Um, and then next, you need to filter out your uh, email list. Segment out anybody uh, from the European Union by IP address and try to re-engage them, get them to opt back into your uh, email list if you still want them on it. If not, I would delete these people off by May 25th and not email them again. So <clears throat> either way, those are two uh, things that you should definitely be updating. I would also have an attorney revise your uh, privacy policy statement for your website and how you're managing your data and collecting it and storing it and so forth to, um, to uh, align with these regulations um, there's a bunch of other stuff that you need to be doing as well if you are doing business with anybody in the European Union and again I'm not a, an attorney but you need to reach out and have somebody look over this hopefully you've already started this process but these changes will start on May 25th and you need to be pre prepared for it and if you haven't updated those settings in Google Analytics yet I highly suggest doing so Otherwise, you could be losing data um, from previous years. So that's it today, guys. Take care, and we'll talk tomorrow.